Welcome to another episode here with Queen City Reese and more. We finally have the fish that I ordered from DrQuarantineFish.com. So, like every other shipment, a uh, styrofoam box. And take a look in here. There is just newspaper with a cold pack and the fish. So I'll disclose what I got. This right here is a butterfly, another copper band butterfly. This one's gonna go into the Mega Matrix. Then we have, wow, this is small. A ruby red dragonette. This one will go into this peninsula in the office. We also have a tail spot blenny, which also looks to be doing good. And last but not least, we have a yellow head jawfish, which seems to be going up for air. So we're gonna get these guys acclimated as fast as possible and we'll be back shortly these fish here two out of three that are going into this tank are super small so i've turned off the flow for my gyra and i've uh, put the mp40s on feed mode because i want to make sure that they can get accustomed to the tank in there and then you know so on and so forth so we'll start with the yellowhead jawfish because he's the one that looked like to be struggling the most in here and i believe yep there it is so Next is going to be this ruby red dragonette. Now, I feel that I have a lot of copepods, but the problem is that the fish that I have in there have been eating a lot of those, and I have a lot of fish that I know will eat copepods. So I have not seen them as much on the glass as before. I did put some new ones into the refugium directly, left the flow off for about an hour, hoping that they will situate, and then I turned the flow back on, so. We'll see, hopefully everything works well with this ruby red dragonette. Last but not least is this tiny, tiny, tiny tail spot blenny. All right, take a look. There's a little guy right there that Wait, this I is. I can't even see him. Where is he? Over there, he's gone. He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> he is gone, so I didn't get to see that guy. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, but if I see him swimming around later, uh, we will uh, definitely record him. That's it? Yep. Okay. All right, and we almost forgot about one, but luckily my daughter was asking about this fish, which is the copper band now. I ask for you to uh, keep your fingers crossed and hope that it doesn't go crazy on any of my corals here and it goes for the Aptasia. 
so far looks pretty good he looks to be breathing normal even though it's in this bag so I do have zoanthids in here and some mushrooms so let's hope he doesn't go after those if the if he does just know there'll be a copper band available for those that want one <laughs> he's in he is in he's showing up release the kraken he's showing up his color he is going to be the first fish in this tank. He's going to be the first fish in this tank in a while because the rest are still there. Now, two of my tanks are have gone through the quarantine process. They're still in observation. I will tell you that one of these fish right here, that's, you know, the, the lights are off right now because I don't feel a need for the lights. But I have these fish in here, the Storm Clowns, Black Spot Tang, and one of the... Uh, Yellow. Hawaiian yellow eye coal tang. So I can tell you that they are out of quarantine. They went through 37 days of copper power. I about a week and a half ago I removed the copper power from the water by doing a super large water change and putting some carbon in there. Now there's some info that carbon doesn't actually remove copper, but again, the percentage of copper in there from the water change that I did is possibly very low. My plan is to, if when they are ready to go into this tank, is to put them into a bucket uh, that will have this water so that I, in a way, I guess you could essentially wash out the copper and then put them in here. But anyways, I saw some uh, flashing and I called it scratching, but I saw, you know, I was corrected in, on Ask BRS TV that the term is actually called flashing and they both no, actually, the, the, not the yellow eye. The, I, I've stared it for, for a long time. You know, every day I'll stare at that tank for about 45 minutes to an hour. The yellow eye coal tank has not flashed. The black spot has flashed once, and it was just very quick, and he went about his business, did not do it again. And then there's also a starry blenny in there that I saw flash one time. I uh, haven't seen it do it since. Um, and, and so... And all tent high allow it to to cold 